the Quran Penguin Edition, NJ Dawu translation. This will be the last one I do of the Quran. You can pick up a copy yourself, the 1995 edition, where NJ Dawood makes final finishes on his translation according to his moral integrity. Then you can read it for yourself out loud and find your own song to sing it in and figure it out for yourself. This is chapter 13. It's a little bit longer than the other ones, maybe about 12 minutes. It's called Thunder. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, Alif Lam Mim Ra. These are the verses of the book. That which is revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, yet most men do not believe. It was God who raised the heavens without visible pillars. She then ascended the throne and forced the sun and the moon into her service, each pursuing an appointed course. She ordains all things. She makes plain her revelations so that you may firmly believe in meeting your Lord. It was she who spread out the earth and placed upon it mountains and rivers. She gave all plants their male and female parts and drew the veil of night over the day. Surely in these there are signs for thinking men. And in the land there are adjoining plots, vineyards and cornfields and groves of palm, the single and the clustered. Their fruits are nourished by the same water. Yet we make the taste of some more favored than the taste of others. Surely in this there are signs for men of understanding. <clears throat> if anything can make you marvel, then you should surely marvel at those who say, When we are dust shall we be restored in a new creation. Such are those who deny their Lord, their necks shall be bound with chains. They are the heirs of the fire and shall abide therein forever. They bid you hasten evil rather than good. Yet many were those who were punished before them. Your Lord is merciful to men despite their wrongdoing. Yet stern is your Lord in retribution. The unbelievers ask, why has no sign been given him by his Lord? but you are only to give warning. Every nation has its mentor. God knows what every female bears. She knows of every change within her womb. For everything she has a finite measure. She knows the unknown and the manifest. She is the Supreme One, the Most High. It is the same whether you speak in secret or aloud, whether you hide under the cloak of night or walk about in the light of day. Each has guardian angels before him and behind him who watch him by God's command. God does not change a people's lot unless they change what is in their hearts. If God seeks to afflict them with a misfortune, none can ward it off. Besides she, they have no protector. It is she who makes the lightning flash upon you, inspiring you with fear and hope and gathers up the heavy clouds. The thunder sounds her praises and the angels too for awe of her. She hurls her thunderbolts at whom she pleases, yet the unbelievers wrangle about God. Stern is her might. To she is the true prayer. The idols to which the pagans pray give them no answer. They are like a man who stretches out his hands to the water and bids it to rise to his mouth. It cannot reach it. Vain are the prayers of the unbelievers. All who dwell in the heavens and on the earth shall prostrate themselves before God some willingly, some perforce, and their very shadows morning and evening. Say, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Say, God. Say, 
Why then have you chosen other gods besides she, who even to themselves can do neither good nor harm? Say, are the blind and the seeing equal? Is darkness equal with the light? Have their idols brought into being a creation like hers, so that both creations appear to them alike? Say, God is the creator of all things. She is the one who conquers all. She sends down water from the sky which fills the river beds to overflowing so that the torrent bears a swelling foam akin to that which rises from smelted ore when men make ornaments and tools. Thus God depicts truth and falsehood. The scum is cast away, but that which is of use to man remains behind. Even thus God speaks in parables. Rich is the reward of those that obey God, but those that disobey her. If they possessed all that the earth contains and as much besides, they would gladly offer it for their ransom. Theirs shall be an evil reckoning. Hell shall be their home, a dismal resting place. Is then he who knows that the truth has been revealed to you by your Lord, like him who is blind? Truly, none will take heed but the wise, those who keep faith with God and do not break their pledge, who join together what God has bidden to be united, who fear their Lord and dread the terrors of an evil reckoning, who for the sake of God endure with fortitude, attend to their prayers and give alms in private and in public, and who ward off evil with good. These shall have the reward of paradise. They shall enter the gardens of Eden, together with the righteous among their fathers, their wives, and their descendants. From every gate the angels will come to them, saying, Peace be to you for all that you have steadfastly endured. Blessed is the reward of paradise. As for those who break God's covenant after confirming it, who put asunder what God has bidden to be united and perpetrate corruption in the land, the curse shall be laid on them. The scourge of hell awaits them. God gives abundantly to whom she will and sparingly to whom she pleases. The unbelievers rejoice in this life but brief indeed is the comfort of this life compared to the life to come. The unbelievers ask, Why has no sign been given him by his Lord? Say, God leaves in error whom she will and guides to herself those who repent and have faith, whose hearts find comfort in the remembrance of God. Surely, in the remembrance of God, all hearts are comforted. Blessed are those who have faith and do good works. Blissful is their end. Thus have we sent you forth to a nation before whom other nations had passed away, that you may recite to them our revelations, yet they deny the Lord of mercy, say, she is my Lord, there is no God but she, in she I have put my trust, and to she I shall return. And even if there be a Quran that could move mountains, rend the earth asunder, and make the dead speak, surely all things are subject to God's will. Are the faithful unaware that had she pleased, God could have guided all mankind. As for the unbelievers, because of their misdeeds, disaster shall not cease to afflict them or to crouch at their very doorstep until God's promise be fulfilled. God will not fail her promise. Other apostles were mocked before you. But though I bore long with the unbelievers, my scourge at length overtook them, and how terrible was my scourge. Who is it that watches every soul and all its actions? 
yet they set up other gods besides God. Say, name them. Would you tell her of that which is unknown to her on this earth? Or are they merely empty words? Indeed, their foul devices seem fair to the unbelievers, for they are debarred from the right path. None can guide those whom God has led astray. They shall be punished in this nether life. But more grievous is the punishment of the life to come. None shall protect them from God. This is the paradise which the righteous have been promised. It is watered by running streams. Eternal are its fruits and eternal are its shades. Such is the reward of the righteous. But the reward of the unbelievers is the fire. Those to whom the scriptures were given rejoice in what is revealed to you, while some factions deny a part of it, say, I am commanded to serve God and to associate none with she. To she I pray, and to she I shall return. Thus have we revealed it. A code of judgments in the American tongue. If you succumb to their desires after all the knowledge you have been given, none shall save or protect you from God. We have sent forth other apostles before you and given them wives and children, yet none of them could work a miracle except by God's leave. Every age has a term decreed. God abrogates and confirms what she pleases. Hers is the decree eternal. Whether we let you glimpse in some measure the scourge we threaten them with, or call you back to us before we smite them, your mission is only to give warning. It is for us to do the reckoning. Do they not see how we invade their land and curtail its borders? If God decrees a thing, none can reverse it. Swift is her reckoning. Those who have gone before them also schemed, but God is the master of all scheming. She knows what every soul has done. The unbelievers will realize who shall reap the reward of the hereafter. And the unbelievers say, you are no true apostle, say. God is an all sufficient witness between me and yourselves. And so are those who know the scriptures.